Hello, and welcome to another episode of What's on Draft. Today, we're having a pint with the infamous San Diego Beer Twins. At the time of this recording, Andrew worked for Coronado Brewing Company, and Brian worked for longtime friend of the show, Burning Beard Brewing. But Brian has since moved on to brew at a different microbrewery, and Aaron's friend Tyler now brews at Burning Beard. We thought we'd point this out so we don't get aggressive DMs from our many fans on Instagram correcting us. Now back to the show. Hey guys, Aaron here, back at Ebullition, uh, at our home base. I'm having a pint here with the twins, and I'm gonna give it to the youngest. Ah, man. Oh. Yeah. Brian. How's it going, Brian? Andrew. Andrew. We're pretty used to just turning around when we hear the other's name already. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we go along with it. I, I like that you work at two different breweries now. Yeah. Easy yeah. indicator. It makes it easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, how was it when you guys were both working at Coronado? It was fun. I mean, even the owners. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Hey, Good morning. Well, it was nice because, like, for a really long time, you guys were working at two different facilities. So. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you were on the island. Yeah. And then you were at Knoxville. Yes. Once, once that. I still heard the other name very often, though. <laughs> for a point, I was down with him for a few months, and he was back up at Knoxville for a while. <laughs> it's, okay. it's funny. It's like elementary school, man. We just switched places. Nobody did you do that? No. no. We never did that. Even though that you guys are dressed insanely similar today. I mean, we like, got the hat thing going, so. Right. I wear these kind of weirdos. He wears regular ball caps, like you. That's how we yeah. tell each other apart most of the time. To help you guys tell yeah. each other apart? No, no, other people. <laughs> other that's, people. How, that's how they tell us apart. Yeah, so how's it been, you know, before and after you had to lose your, your brother to another brewery? Um, you can say the truth. <laughs> it's been awesome. <laughs> What did you guys want to crack into first? It's going to be good, whatever we crack into. All right. That's another credit on Tom for the decision making. I brought a growler by PL. I brought a bunch of beers too. Oh, perfect. Mexican lager. All right, sweet, sweet, sweet. So now we can find out who's the better brewer, I think. Who's the better lager brewer? Lager. Brian just got best lager in San Diego last year. <laughs> I, had, I do have one question. Yes. If one of you gets drunk, does the other feel no. the psychic connection? No. No? Totally. <laughs> I guess it's just a one-way thing. <laughs> let's do this one first. Yeah, let's do that one first. All hoppy. Yeah, that's all hops. Except I purged mine. His, his is oxidized. <laughs> that might be a little bit. Good <laughs> <laughs> <Fucking> dick. <laughs> I'll pour a lot better too. Don't worry. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah. Mexican lager. All right, bien. Bienvenido. 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 Yeah. Mm. It's one of the beers we sell most out of our uh, tap rooms. And Light as fuck, no. like subtle sweetness. Yeah, your, your head retention is rad. No, 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 it's not. <laughs> not so fast. That's your recipe. You suck. <laughs> Where's your fucking head retention, bro? <laughs> Five week beer, you know. Yeah. Triple hops brewed. You know. The cold filtered. <laughs> got the other into brewing? Did you guys? I did. Yeah? The youngest. About 20 years old. Yeah? Bought a homebrew kit with my dad, one of those little Mr. Beer ones, two gallon ones. But it, it looked like a barrel, but a it was plastic. A little plastic barrel. Yeah, yeah. love that shit. <laughs> For the first time we made it, we were stoked on it. Right. Definitely. Quite Started just really. spending all our money on all grain equipment. <laughs> we still actually homebrew quite often. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, I mean, we were both taking homebrew in, just having Brooks and Wade and Nate tear it apart. You know, we met him at a hardcore punk show. Nice. Yeah. And we're like, oh, we're gonna bring some homebrew. They're like, do it. The next few weeks, brought it in, and then, dude, you know what? We have a keg washing position open. Done. He moved up. I took his place. Yeah, it was just oh, rock during on. like a nice expansion time. I mean, the amount of times I called Correct. Brooks. Oh yeah. Well, mainly texted, but like. So you just text him super late at night. You up? Yeah. You up? You up? <laughs> New phone. Who dis? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I definitely learned a lot from him <laughs> yeah. when he was at Coronado type thing. Right, he's at South Norte now. South, yeah. South Norte Beer Company now. Anyone a medal? Agafa Mente, South Norte Beer Company, San Diego, California. Yeah, GABF. Yeah, yeah. I, I gave him a hug. So did I. I mean, you still see him like quite often because like, yeah. he's, he's contracting at Coronado, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. So. Right now he's in the process of opening up his own brewery. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now. He's in there all the time. Right, okay. Yeah, he, every day. Right, he's out yeah. selling all the beer to liquor stores. Every, what? He's doing everything. He's doing everything. Holy he does crap. every event. And he's a one-man brewery, dude. He's so close to like the whole Mexican community. His wife's Mexican. Right. Yeah, and he goes and, down there all the time. He's down right? there all, he used to live he down, there. down there. Yeah. He lived in Tijuana for years, and he's helped so many breweries down in, in the Baja just with everything. 
California is all about loving Mexico. <laughs> loving the food, clearly. Uh, yeah. California yeah, burrito. Buddy. I live in Rosarito, so. You live in Rosarito? <laughs> kind of a long drive. Why? Because he pays only a few hundred dollars rent a month on the beach. Yeah, but isn't it like a like an hour and a half drive? It's an hour. How is the beer scene like exploding down there? Because it, it is. It's amazing. It's, yeah. it's Baja as a, as a whole. Damn, awesome beer coming out. Yeah. Tijuana. Especially the has north been side, it. you know, Ensenada, Mexicali, Tijuana. I mean, I would honestly say about half of them are still on a, on a one or two barrel scale. They're working hard though. They're pumping it out. Yeah. They're making it happen. Have you done any collaborative you... brews down there? I have, yes. Have... I've Burning Beard brewed with a uh, double S.A. Mm -hmm. and Wenlent. Yeah, the growth down there is amazing though. Tremendous. Just how fast it's going. I mm -hmm. mean, San Diego took what? To where we are now, it's been 20 plus years. And down there, it's beer started five years ago, six years ago. Yeah. And now some of these breweries have like 30 barrel brew houses, 10 barrels, a lot of 10 barrel brew houses everywhere. And That's crazy. And, just, and a lot of the guys down there are just so rad with each other. Like how it it's is here tight. in San Diego. Yeah, it's, it's definitely Everyone helps tight each other there. out. Everyone does all these collabs together. And There's a place in Tijuana called La Plaza del Zapato. Was it a plaza that had a whole bunch of like, was there a shoe factory or was it like a shoe no, stores? shoe stores. There's a whole bunch of shoe and stores. And then it turned into this really rad like nightclub place. Oh, nightclub yeah, place. Yeah, yeah, so about, yeah, 10 years ago when, I, when we were 18, we'd spend Thursday, Friday, Saturday nights down there. It's legal in, in it's, Mexico. It's legal. 18 yeah. years old, you can just party. <laughs> yeah. Four years ago, they started converting it into pretty much tasting room plaza. There's about 10 plus brewery tasting rooms. And we all should have some really dope ass shoes. What's wrong with these? I mean, I'll probably just be wearing sandals. Oh, we can't wear those rad Mexican boots with the <laughs> big pointed tips. <laughs> <laughs> They're competing against Tecate, Corona, and all those Modelo. Pacifico. Pacifico. The all, those, all these they big breweries so that people can get for really cheap. You know, so. Super cheap. I don't know how they So they're selling their beer. They're money. selling their, you know, they have to sell their beer for very competitive prices. There's a reason why I live in Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> what, yeah, what made you uh, move down to Rosarito though? Getting married, just the cost of living up here. Because brewers make a lot of money. I'm going to be a millionaire in like a year, dude. <laughs> Burning Beard Millionaire Zeus IPL. Millionaire Zeus, where the fuck did that come from? It is. <laughs> Weird name. It corresponds to the man who has everything. Columbus Simcoe IPL. Nice balance, not, not that bitter. I've never thought to pair Simcoe with, with Columbus. Resinous with like nice bright citrus from the Simcoe. A little right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 go for it. It works, you know? A lot of breweries don't even make IPLs too. Yeah. I mean, it's filter, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. lenticular. He was on the side teaching me everything else, so I mean, I just followed him in his footsteps, and now he's making amazing beer. You know, I miss working with him because it was awesome. I liked it. Yeah, yeah. separation yeah. anxiety is, is a thing. Oh, either. yeah. <laughs> when you've done everything together your whole life. Yeah. yeah. You know, people moving around from brewery to brewery around San Diego is really what put it on the map. Just taking experience elsewhere, helping somebody out, or bringing a Different. It is also one of those industries where it's, a lot of people do move around. And yeah. It does happen, especially in San Diego. Everyone's so close growth. knit too. You learn not about other people, but other stuff other than beer. Mm -hmm. Just knowing other people. And it's like skateboarding, man. Now he lives in Mexico and I live up here. And yeah. So. We see each other probably once every week, two yeah, weeks. About once a week, more or less. Yeah. Try to have a beer. Well, cheers, guys. Yeah. Appreciate it. Rad hanging with you. Yeah, and we're gonna do it again oh, in Mexico. Sure. Oh, yeah. Check Me it out. Mexico. Me I'm sorry. Mexico. Mexico. See. Si. Si. Si, senor. You roll your R's good, dog. Yeah, yeah. When I was, you know, I was in Texas. We went through Amarillo, and no one said it like that there. <laughs> went, went through in a carro. <laughs> That's it for our episode of What's On Draft. We'll see you in two weeks. We also have some hazy beer at Burning Beard. We gonna crack it open or what? Yeah, crack it open. Let's uh, let's get some people in here. Ooh, flat. It's got some haze. <laughs> <laughs> so flat. This motherfucker in his flat beer. Oh no, there it goes. That's how we build each other up, you know. It looks good actually. It's called a stone. <laughs> and you just turn it on. Is that what it is? Yeah. 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 Your brother, he'll tell you. <laughs> he'll, I'll let you <laughs> tell me. Well, cheers, guys. Cheers. Rock on. Yeah.